hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel if you're new i'm photo Raps. i do videos about photography filmmaking camera tech related reviews unboxing action cams and vlogging kits and if you've been here before thank you for staying on my channel that's an honor for me to have you here and in today's video i'm going to talk a little bit about the new gopro hero 12 that's gonna be released in a month now we are on august 15th and this camera the hero 12 is gonna be released on september 15th let's talk about it So far we've seen lots of rumors about the GoPro Hero 12 and the funniest thing is that the first leaked images were out during the launch date of the DJI Action 4 on August the 2nd I believe and we saw the image showing that the GoPro Hero 12 is gonna have a 1 inch sensor 4K to 40 frame per second and in this video I decided to cover all of these rumors and to tell you my thoughts about it whether it's gonna happen or not so make sure to subscribe i'll be doing lots of new videos about the gopro hero 12 i'll be comparing the camera to some other cameras when it will be released i'll be doing lots of videos about some other cameras as well if you're interested i highly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel that's a must for help it's been a long time that we are asking for one inch sensor on action cameras and this year apparently GoPro is gonna have this one inch sensor on their new camera but I think that we are gonna have two cameras from GoPro and not only one let me talk about it GoPro is an action camera dedicated to all consumers in the world because it's not an expensive camera delivering great image quality great audio quality great build quality so this camera should stay in a range in a price range that is affordable that's competitive with other brands so for me i don't think that we're gonna have only one camera from gopro the one inch sensor because if we have that it's gonna be very expensive and people will not go buy it because we have lots of other one inch sensor cameras in the market and dji is gonna release their pocket 3 with a one inch sensor very soon probably on september 2023 as well so it's not gonna be very easy for gopro to stay on the market on a competitive market with a one inch sensor only in the in their new camera and add to that last year with the gopro hero 11 we had the new sensor from the gopro the one over one point inch sensor slightly bigger than the half inch sensor with a seven by eight ratio which allows us to crop vertically horizontally or any uh, form that we need any uh, ratio that we need for our content that was a big uh, advancement from gopro and i don't think they're gonna leave uh, this new sensor behind they're gonna use it in the new gopro hero 12 that's coming out very soon on september 15 with a new processor i believe because the old processor had some bugs some issues it was good enough comparing to the gopro hero 10 but it was not perfect so i think on this one we're gonna have the same sensor but with the new processor and of course another new camera from gopro with the one inch sensor so we're gonna have two cameras the first one the consumer camera is gonna be around 500 euros i believe and the second one the one inch sensor with 240 frame per second in 4k and 120 frame per second and 5.3k is gonna be around 650 or 700 euros i believe i'm not sure these are my guessings once again these are not official leaks and rumors from gopro these are only my guessings we will not have a 4k 240 frame per second on the consumer camera because it will lead to lots of overheating we will not have much place to manage the overheating on the camera because it's gonna maintain the same shape so we can use the same uh, media mode that we used previously on the previous generation of the gopro but on the one inch sensor it looks slightly bigger so we might have uh, some new elements to help the dissipation of the heat of the overheat on the one inch sensor so we might have the 240 in 4k and 120 frame per second and 5.3k but do we need these rates these frame rates on the cameras on an action camera for me i don't think it's necessary i prefer to have a good 4k 120 frame per second without overheating rather than having a 5.3k uh, with lots of overheats and lots of bugs on the processor on the system itself on both cameras i think we will have a bigger screen a, a bigger uh, display screen on the back side it's gonna be from end to end without 
uh, that bezel that we had before on the GoPro cameras and we will have a touch front screen it's gonna be almost the same as the DJI camera now we will have the front screen that's gonna be a touch display as well that's something that I think GoPro will include in their camera and for all of those who are asking for 8k recording on the GoPro cameras I think it's not the market to have 8k on such cameras as I said before a good 4k 120 is more than enough we'd rather have this working perfectly than having a 5.3k with issues with overheats with bugs and 8k of course with a slow frame rate with lots of issues because having an 8k video is good but you have to get a big computer a very strong computer in order to handle the files in order to edit the files in order to process the files and GoPro is basically based on transferring the files directly to the GoPro app to edit them quickly to post them to use them without the need of going back and forth to the computer to edit and to process the files so these were my guessings concerning the GoPro Hero 12 that's gonna go out in a month from now on September 15 let me know what you think about these guessings in the comment section below I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it for more new content on the GoPro and other products and other cameras. You can check my affiliate links. I have lots of promo codes, lots of good deals on photography and videography products that I've talked about previously on my channel. You can get some great discounts and I can get some small commissions that helps the channel a lot. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.